This is going to be a pretty simple video where I just go over how we're going to build a list of basically every cannabis professional that we possibly can for a friend of mine. And without further ado, we can just hop straight into the video. So the mission that we've accepted is to try to find any person who basically has anything to do with cannabis, uh, basically on the East coast of the United States, that part we're going to, unless the list gets gigantic, we're going to probably leave that part out. But so, uh, we'll be looking for CEOs and founders and those types of people, but we want to basically find any person associated with cannabis. So we can do this. Uh, we're going to use clay to do this. We're going to use Apollo to do this. And we're going to use sales navigator to do this, to just get as much you know, coverage as we possibly can. And then we would probably combine it all and dedupe against the LinkedIn profile. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually find companies from LinkedIn and we are going to, let's see here, United. So United States is fine. I know I said East coast. That's something that honestly is easier to filter out in sheets. Uh, if it's not costing us money to do anything here. So we're just going to attack the description keywords more than anything else. So we're going to say, uh, cannabis. Mm. I have never even had alcohol in my life. So now I'm having a brain fart about what we should else we should put here. I, to be honest, I'm not even sure if I know how to spell marijuana. Uh, see, I'm an idiot. Okay. So I'll put this in marijuana, CBD. Hang on. All right. I literally just asked chat GPT just to make sure I wasn't missing anything. Cause, uh, I just jumped straight into this video, but I just thought about how I don't know that much. So the only thing we're going to do here though, is we're just going to exclude nonprofit, uh, organizations just because we don't want to do that. And then we don't want government as well. Like we don't need like the lobbyists and, and all of those things. And we're just going to see basically, yep. We're just going to see what this gets us at this point. So run this. Cool. So 14,000 companies. Awesome. I don't really want marketing services and I don't want recruiting. So we're going to get rid of that. And then recruiting. We don't want recruiting. Cool. So then we'll go this way. So we got our company, we have our company list here. Didn't knock things off that much. So we're going to import these and we won't enrich it because I'm going to send this to them uh, as a sample to just see if they want it. So we will reach out to, we got this list. So we're just going to name it cannabis company table sample. And then we're going to do the same thing. But now we're going to do it on people as well. And this one gets a little bit more fun. So we're going to hit the United States. And then we are going to put uh, same thing. Job titles, just CEO, founder, owner, president. We're going to exclude vice because it's going to get crazy when we put this. So we're not going to include like assistant intern, all those things, CEO, founder. Oh yeah. Chief executive. Those are the ones that I think we should cover right now. And then we'll go back and we'll run this if we need anything else. So now we need to find if they have anything to do with cannabis. Well, there's a couple of things we're going to do to clean it up as well. Number of followers. We want to find people like if you have less than, well, in the cannabis industry, we're going to say they have to have at least 50 connections because if they don't have 50 connections it might not be a real linkedin profile so that's just another thing we want to cover for and now in order to find people who have something to do with cannabis we can either search their bio so we can find keywords in the headline keywords in they're about or we can search their experience we could technically do both but i think the broader one that people are going to do is they're going to mention something about cannabis in their about section if they're going to mention anything at all Oh, I keep forgetting. I guess you don't spell marijuana with a U. Okay, cool. 
limit results. We're not going to limit it. Education, all these things we don't really need. Now, if this list is way too big, we're going to start focusing on just East Coast states. Uh, but for right now, we'll just let it rip because we can filter that out later. Uh, you know what? It's super easy. We can also just go to ChatGPT and just ask it. Can you make a comma separated list of East Coast states for me to copy and paste somewhere else? All right, so then we go back to Clay, see what we're working with here. So not much. We're going to wait for this to get done, see how crazy it is. And then I'm just going to move as well into... Mm. Yeah, I was going to say, I do this all the time. Okay, cool. So we have this that we're going to use. And then uh, I just wanted to show while Clay is loading. Oh, it already loaded. All right, so we've got 4,000 people here. That's cool. We have another way that we're going to get everybody else. So we're just going to grab this. We don't need to enrich anything else just yet. Now, while this is loading, we also have put together a little bit of a list inside of Apollo as well. And I put Mary Jane because I just figured, you know, why not? And so we will change this location to the United States. This looks pretty good. So we have almost everyone in this list already saved. I'm just going to show everyone a little trick we've been using lately from our friend Jesse over at Lead Magic, where they have their own database and they, you know, every Apollo URL is basically the same structure and they have their own database where they can convert this. So we're just going to upload this and we're going to say that we want, I think there was 10,000 leads on here. Oh, so we want 8,000 leads, right? And we're going to say list for Vince and then we're going to let it run. So then we'll hit submit and then we're going to get access to this list over here. Then we've got our clay list here where we're going to say cannabis list for Vince. And we've got everything over here as well. Wow, the MMJ fund made a person. That's very interesting. That's why I see, that's why we put that that connections count in there because to stop it from really, really garbage profiles like that. But anyway, we've got that rolling for us as well. So we found, we used clay to find as many people as we could. We used Apollo to find as many people as we could. Now, the best place that we're going to go to find truly as many people as we can is going to be Sales Navigator. So we have 37,000 people, which is far more than anything else that we've been looking at before. And so what we've done is we created a search where we're looking for the founder, owner, CEO, chief executive, or the president. And we're looking for anybody who has cannabis or CBD or marijuana on their profile. And so I wonder why this person came up. We would have to visit their profile and see why. So Sound Body Sports Rehab, that makes sense. This is a real estate guy. I wonder why this guy came up too. Sometimes Sales Navigator is crazy. License owner in the cannabis industry, okay. Psychiatric and addiction medicine. Okay, we don't want to reach out to this person. Um, so we're then we're going to say not addiction. Did we get rid of this guy? I could have sworn that this worked in a Boolean. Maybe it's actually minus. See if we got rid of this guy. We did not get rid of him. <laughs> we might have to enrich this with clay and get rid of them there. Interesting. But so then now what we're going to do is we have this whole LinkedIn search, right? So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to be way better about our states because we don't want to pull the entire thing, right? Oh, whoops. So I'm actually going to pause the video while I type in all these states. So we've got these states and we've got 6,000 people here that we're going to be pulling that fit these states. And so the way we're actually going to be pulling this list is we're going to break this list into three different pieces. So Sales Navigator only gives you access to the first 100 lists and there's 25 people on each list. So they only give you access to the first 2,500 people in a list. We need to split this so that we can pull the entire thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to split by company headcount. Because the company headcount doesn't matter to us here, uh, to us here. So we have one to ten. We've got two K people. So we're gonna take this. We're gonna go to Clay, and we're gonna say, "Hey, I want you to pull this for me. Find people from Sales Navigator URL. Great. 
and we're going to pull this one. Now it's going to go to a new blank table. It's going to create the source. Now this is going to take a couple of minutes to run. So we're just going to leave this be. We're going to rename it cannabis list for Vince. Great. So now we're going to pull this. Oh, but we're going to move on to the next one. Sorry. So we're going to hit this. Uh, import. Nope. What are we doing here? Find people from sales navigator URL. We're just going to do it again. So now we used one to 10 already. We're going to now use 11 to 50. But see how 11 to 50 has 1K in it? We've got more space. So let's keep adding until we get close to that 2.5K. Cool. So I'm cool with just pulling this. And then we will put this in. And honestly, I could stop here just because this is going to get mostly everything that we need. But um, we're just going to do it one more time to just get every single profile that we could possibly get. So now we'll do self-employed, 5,000 to 10,000, and then we'll kill the rest of them. And this should be like 1,500. Nice. So now we'll grab this and let this run. And so now we've used three different data sources in order to pull all the different ones. I'm not going to show in this video how we're going to combine them all together, dedupe them, and um, enrich them because that's just going to take, I, I have to wait for everything to load and it's just going to take too much time. But essentially we're going to export everything to Google Sheets. And then in Google Sheets, we'll just be basically deduping based off of LinkedIn profile URLs. We're going to throw it back in clay, find some emails, and then have a list for hopefully a happy friend. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. A little bit basic, but uh Hope it gives you an idea of how you can build like really large lists um, and how each provider has their own strengths for what they're grabbing for you.